<laughs> That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can't see, man. It's too big, man. I've got to walk around with my head up. <laughs> hey, guys, Shadows here. Welcome back to another Gears of War 4 video. Today, we are going to be looking at a brand new Gears 4 multiplayer Easter egg, which is the construction hard hats on the map lift. Just before we jump into the actual easter egg itself, I want to give a huge shout out to the Tapcom guys who were the original players to find this specific easter egg. You can find a link down below in the description of this video to their very own video and channel. For the easter egg itself, as I already mentioned, it takes place on the multiplayer map lift, the original map that launched at release, not the remake. The easter egg involves destroying three rocks around the map itself that seem to only be breakable by an explosive weapon such as the drop shot, so being in a private match is a lot easier for you to perform this as obviously you can just literally just place explosive weapons everywhere overall there are three breakable rocks located around the map but they will only appear once the lift has stopped and the missing sections of the map become playable firstly to begin with you want to be starting on the map just to the right of the engine spawn looking directly behind the close by power generators when trying to destroy each and every rock you will need to hit it directly and when doing so, a green light gas will emit from the remains of the rock itself, indicating that yes, you are completing the required steps needed. Next up, this second rock is just to the opposite of the first one across the map to the left of that huge crane in the background. This specific rock is quite high up and sometimes it might take you a little while to hit it directly, but once you do, again, some green smoke will appear. Lastly, for the third and final rock, it is located just to the left of the other spawn, which is the crane spawn. Spawn. Once destroyed being the final step, the interactable hard hat should spawn in the control room on the table side within the center of the map itself. With only one hat being available during a match, meaning only one player within the game can be wearing it at any given time. And if they actually die with the hard hat equipped themselves, it will not respawn again. So attempting this Easter egg in a public multiplayer match isn't really worth it unless the enemy players maybe start to just quit out and you get a little bit bored. I don't know. As you can see, the hard hat looks different for each character in the game. And at the time playing while recording this for you guys, with a few of you actually in the game itself, General Ram is by far the funniest character just wearing the Easter egg hard hat. Like, look, look at him. Look at the dude. Please make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. What is your opinion on the lift hard hat Easter egg? And also, out of all of the Easter eggs discovered so far for this game of Gears 4, which is your favorite overall? So there you have it, guys. That is the lift hard hat Easter egg in Gears of War 4. Recently, the community has just been going crazy for finding or trying to find brand new Easter eggs as the current studio did actually recently announce that anybody who can prove themselves amongst the first players to find any of the remaining hidden easter eggs can actually earn the chance to unlock the very exclusive Blood Moon Swarm Amago character for themselves. If you are interested in seeing some gameplay of the Blood Moon Swarm Amago character or any of the other Gears 4 Easter eggs in the game that have been discovered so far, you can definitely find them on the channel. With the Easter egg hunting being very active right now, I would obviously expect that maybe a few more Easter eggs will be found within the next few days. And if there are any new ones, you can definitely check them out on the channel as soon as they are discovered. Give the video a thumbs up and share if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks for watching, and as always, I shall see you in the next one.